prayer point number two for thy precious jewels end of year prayer session. The scripture is going to be taken from Genesis chapter 45 verse 9 to 11. It reads, Haste ye and go up to my father and say unto him, Thus seeth thy son Joseph, God has made me Lord of all Egypt. Come down unto me, tarry not, and thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt be near unto me, thou and thy children and thy children's children, and thy flocks and thy herd, and all that thou hast, and there will I nourish thee. For yet there are five years of famine, lest thou and thy household and all that thou hast come to poverty. That scripture was Genesis 45, verse 9 to 11. I've just read the KJV version. It was very clear in the scripture that I read above that Joseph had a piece of information. A lot of the people in this city did not know how long the famine was going to last. But because the Lord had given Joseph this crucial information, he could make plans ahead of time. He could contact his family. He could contact his father. He could contact his sibling. He could bring all of them towards where he was so that there will be food. When a man or a woman lacks information about their family, they are likely to suffer. Our prayer is going to be very, very clear regarding this. We're going to pray. First prayer is the Lord, I receive information for 2016 in the name of Jesus. In this new year, I must not be without crucial information that is needed for my household in Jesus name. Another example of this was Noah. Noah had information. Lot had information. They knew they needed to move. We're going to pray and we're going to ask the Lord. Anyhow you need to speak to me Lord. I must hear you in 2016. I must have update concerning every movement of my family. I must have update concerning every location of my family. I must have update concerning the finance of my family. I must have update concerning the health of my family. I must have update concerning the spiritual information for my family in the name of Jesus. We're also going to pray and say, Lord, for me to avoid trouble or getting into trouble in 2016, I need to know where to go and where not to go. I need to know what to say and what not to say. I need to know when to keep away from people and when to move close to people. So in 2016, Lord, for me to stay out of trouble, I need you to give me step-by-step -step information on how to live my life in the name of Jesus. The last prayer point we're going to take on that aspect. We're just going to surrender everything unto the Lord. And we're going to say, Lord, if it takes a few more minutes for me to miss you, by your mighty hand, deliver me from myself. If it's going to take a few more minutes for me to walk out of the plan and the purpose that you have made for me for 2016, save me, Lord, and deliver me from myself so that I will work in the plan that you have made for me and for the year 2016 in Jesus name. Amen.